Hi everyone, I'm Rosemary. I'm Lachelle. And we are Peonies and Pearls DIY. Welcome to our channel today. Glad to have you. Today we're going to do a really fun project. Rosemary is going to show us the cutest little hats to use as ephemera or anything else that we want to craft with these. That's right. You can put them on anything. And since it's Easter time, we thought maybe an Easter bonnet would be appropriate. And so <laughs> we are sharing a project that G. Carr did on her channel, The Happy Crafter, a few years ago. And I fell in love with it. And I thought it's easy to do and something that a beginner could have fun with. Yeah, it's and real cute. It is. It's really cute, and the possibilities are endless. And I'm just going to show you a basic one, and then we're going to try to do a glamorous one. <laughs> so, All right, Rosemary. Let's, let's get, get after, after it. it. This is the cutest little hat, and it is so easy to make. Now, this is kind of a big one, but you can make it any size you want. You could even make a little tiny one. And it takes very few materials. You just need um, circles. And I didn't measure this. I don't know how wide that is. What would you guess? Three inches. Three inches, maybe, around. And then this, I made these just using this really cheap punch. That's probably a one inch. <laughs> it probably is. And you can use toilet tissue tubes and you can just that was some little insert to you know some junky thing that yeah. i'm always saving and just make a whole bunch of these circles if you don't have a circle punch then you can trace around something round and make some this is going to be the top of our hat, and this will be the brim part. And it's just a, a piece of cardboard. You can make it as thick as you want. I sort of like the flexible. I used uh, a thicker one, and so this hat's not very flexible. And it kind of limited what I could do other than making it look like a little straw hat, which I think is cute. It is. It's really cute. <clears throat> So the first thing you want to do is to glue all of these circles together and make it as tall as you want. The other thing that you could use if you save them is a water bottle top. Just yeah. a plain old plastic water bottle top. And you could even add cardboard to the top of that. And make it taller if you want. Yeah, you just gotta figure out what kind of hat you want, mm -hmm. what shape. What shape. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to glue all of these circles together. Um, let me tell you, I probably have about eight or ten, and if you want it. You're going to be squishing these down, so you might find that you need a few extra. Just heard a couple of days ago that grand another grandchild is getting married this year. That's so exciting! It's going to be five in nine months. Oh, that's so amazing. you've been to so many weddings lately. No. That's so exciting. I love it. All right, the second thing you do is choose what kind of fabric you want to use, and I have several. I'm going to be covering um, my circle. Can't decide if I want a real over the top like that, or if maybe I want to start with 
something soft and mm -hmm. flowing and then maybe cover it with some lace I think maybe I'll do this and <clears throat> you can probably see where you're at. Yeah. Gonna just cut myself a square. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to start shaping that around it. Like I'll just Here I'll show with mine. You kind of have to tuck as you go. Yeah. You have to give it some little tucks because it is round. Yeah. It's easier to do this when you're doing a journal in a square. <laughs> yeah. This you have to give it some little pleats. And it might be helpful if you have some kind of clip to hold it to get started. shows through oh you got to do that first yeah Get it. and then although it might be okay I'll see You can't, you can't I can't it. envision this at all. <laughs> Where is it going? Fancy hat. <clears throat> Your gal's going to be going off to the races. A Kentucky Derby, maybe? Yes. It's getting close to Kentucky Derby time. I think my gal's going to be going to a little country picnic here. This is where studying hats would have been a good thing to do first. <laughs> yes, that's true.
after all of that glue, it still didn't hold. <laughs> yeah, we need some hot glue. Do you want me to heat up the hot glue? I'm just going to persevere here. It's because I was messing with it. I'd let it dry. Your cute little bottle. She I just wrapped a little <laughs> lace around it. <laughs> I have some little bottles coming. Did is this the same glue top that came with the bottle? It's pretty close. If it isn't, I just found those on Amazon. Well, it's just like this one over here that gets all gunky. Yeah. Eaten. So are you going to make a, a cute journal for the I am. bride? I am, and I'm so slow at it, I'll probably try to start gathering stuff. Better get started. Yep, because it takes me forever to make decisions. She sent me the colors that she's going to be using, so... Those are cute. We need one more. Yeah. I moved them from the top back to there. I think they're better there. It's on the bottom there. I might need to just let it be for now. And then right. when I get ready to use it, make a decision. Look how different your two hats are. I know. They're so fun. They're, they're, the sky's the limit. You can just do anything. And if you have um, we'll move a, some of this a stuff pretty, sure. pretty woman, um, it could be a part of her boudoir. <laughs> That's right. Her boudoir. And let's look at the one you did. See, it's fairly simple little idea, but you could See, just, just looks kind of country, country like you like you said, going a on a picnic. picnic. Mine could probably stand a little lace. Kind of looks like a riding hat. Yeah, it's but kinda... it might not be that color. I don't know if they only had black, or I don't know that much about riding hats but i know great. nothing about them. i know nothing <laughs> about so... birth and babies <laughs> we know a little bit about I, that i know about birth and babies but... <laughs> actually <laughs> actually i have experience with that but riding horses not so much, not so much. <laughs> oh those are so cute thanks I, for showing us how to make them i think they're cute and i would love to see what other people come up with and how yours turn out. I mean, your material makes a big difference. You could right. could use something like this even. That was the direction I first thought yeah. of. But, I mean, just start gathering scraps of things. And everybody's got toilet tissue holders. Just punch away. Get yourself a little box. Put all your little punches in. Uh -huh. When the urge comes that you want to make a little hat, you can. I mean, something yeah. like that. You could even crochet a little something and glue it onto your bottle cap and make a cute little hat of some sort. <laughs> Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this little uh, crafting segment.
we hope that you will join us again. We have a great time together, and we hope that you find crafting to be as much fun as we do. So Yeah, it brings us a lot of happiness. I know. It's, it's a good way to spend an afternoon with a friend. You can just have That's fun sure. doing it and see what you come up with. And hopefully, hopefully you feel like you spent an afternoon with two friends. Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you soon in soon. our next video.